know, we're in the middle of March, sometimes called the Ides of March. I remember that from Julius Caesar. If you uh, read Shakespeare in high school, beware the Ides of March. It's also a uh, band from the 60s. Remember their song, Vehicle? Of your vehicle, baby, it'll take you anywhere you want to go. We didn't come here to listen to me sing. You came here for the weather. So let's take a look at the impacts. It's been occurring over a few days. So today, weak system coming into the west. Just some light snow there, just a couple of inches. Should be some advisory ever. So just a nuisance there. Now, the big thing today is going to be some pretty good winds anywhere from, say, Muddy Gap up through Casper, maybe up toward KC as well. You have low humidity today, some mild temperatures. So elevated fire weather out there. So I wouldn't advise burning on any fields out there. Now, Tuesday, that more potent system comes into the uh, western portions of the state. Snow will return to the uh, western mountains. Heaviest from the storm looks like it's going to be across northwestern areas, so southwest Yellowstone down toward the Tetons and in the Jackson area. Those of us east of the Bay should stay dry. It'll spread east of the Bay's head toward uh, Wednesday as the snow tapers off across the west. With the heaviest snow in the central and eastern portions of that area, think places like Riverton Land or Casper up toward Buffalo. Now, as far as the winds, you see where those highest, strongest winds are going to be. Like I said, Muddy Gap is right about here up toward uh, Jeffrey City. Waltman up toward Casper, gusts to 40 to 50 miles per hour. That's about anybody could have some breezy conditions today, though. So hold on to your hats if you're going to be outside. Now, as far as snowfall, I'll show you probabilistic stuff. Start with a chance of two inches or more. Pretty good chance across the western valleys. Now, this goes from Tuesday through Thursday. It doesn't include what's going to fall today. So it starts Tuesday morning about sunrise. Anywhere from about 40% chance to 80% chance across the western valleys. 100% chance of seeing this across most of the mountain ranges, though. Now, as we spread east of the divide, best chance, remember I talked about an upslope crescent with the northeast flow that we're going to have starting, especially on Wednesday. Buffalo, Casper, over toward Lander. At least a two or three chance of seeing two inches of snow there with lesser amounts as you head further to the north and west. Now, I bumped this up to six inches. Mainly the mountain ranges, even the western valleys don't look like they're going to get that much. Highest chance of seeing that, the northeast flow, where is it? What a surprise. Right here in Lander, about a 29, 30% chance there. Also, somewhat of a chance around Buffalo, about a 1 in 8 chance there. I think even a small chance around Riverton and Casper as well, especially in Casper when you get down outside of uh, Wyoming Boulevard down toward the mountain. Now, the likely least amount of snow we'll see out of the system if it moves through faster than we think. Here from about 1 to 2 inches across that crescent, Buffalo, Casper, Riverton, Lander, up toward Dubois. Across the west, highest amounts here across the uh, Tetons. I say at least six, seven inches there. An inch or two possible across the western valleys. Now, the likely worst case scenario, if you don't like snow, the highest amount we'll see. Western valleys, anywhere from about three to five inches. Highest amounts here, you can see maybe 12 to 18 across the eastern slopes of the winds, also the Tetons, maybe a little bit more here across southwestern Yellowstone. Now, the lower elevations, maybe as much as two or three inches across much of the south there, includes Rock Springs, Kemmer, over toward Long Sutter. Now, central Wyoming, where the heaviest snow is going to be, could be maybe as much as six inches in that crescent again. Buffalo, south of Casper, especially down south of Wyoming Boulevard, also the Lander area. Here for about six, maybe up to seven inches, maybe eight or nine, I think, even in Lander, if you see this set up right. About three inches, max, probably around Riverton. Here for about one to three inches across the Bighorn Basin. Highest amounts, where you get the upslope, Thermopolis, Cody. Downslope area is not quite as much, maybe Powell, Grable down to the Warland area. Now, remember how I showed you those ranges? Lander anywhere from about two to eight. Not gonna give you what our most likely scenario is today. You'll have to wait till tomorrow for that. We should have a much better idea of what's gonna happen then. Hey, see our resources here. Just go to our website, weather.gov slash RAW, and get the for exact forecast for your area. Road conditions on the web, just go to wireroad.info. You wanna call them on the phone, in-state, 511, out-of-state, 1888 Wild Road. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.